bricks, we bricks, we bricks, relax, we bricks, we bricks, relax, have a wax, relax, will you? Hello, have wax. Now, before we do the knoll for bag two, I thought I would show you something that I've got for um, the people who have been enjoying the micro brick uh, builds. Um, you all know that I'm building the Titanic that's underway and proceeding but look what I've got look what I've got to make that's going to be epic absolutely epic anyway so I think that'll be the next micro build micro brick build uh, for you to enjoy anyway that's that so without further ado let's do the all. Another person. Righty-ho. Now, I cannot, for the life of me, remember the name um, of this minifig. What, what on... What's his name? Is, it, is that Grover? I don't know. I can't remember, but one of you will tell me. But anyway, he's fab. Will you look at him? Look, will you look at that happy to see your face? Absolutely lovely. I can't remember. Of course, we, we weren't uh, brought up really on Sesame Street in the UK, so I think we're allowed to get some things wrong. Now, we've never had this before, so that's getting a look. Look, that's rather nice, isn't it? And that's getting, oh, look, my goodness, we're getting our first sticker here, so that's exciting. It's going like that, and it's, good grief, it's sticker number one. When does that ever happen? Uh, it's sticker, sticker number one. Sticker, number one, sticker, number one. He's a rather lovely looking fellow. I'm going to stick the stickers between those to keep them. Who's that, do you think? That might be someone. Again, the, uh, the American Afflewax, you will tell us if that's significant. Um, oh, how lovely. That, that. Oh, I'm going to put it on the other side there. It goes that way up. It goes that way up. There we go goes in there. Um, that goes there. Okay. Is that all? No. As per, I'm just sort of orientating myself and then I shall get to club business. Right, slab of coffee. By the way, aren't the colours wonderful today? Right, off to the Google Eyes. To the Google Eyes. Um, Jordan. 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 Uh, he says, uh, welcome to the Afrowak gang, to all the newbies. This is one of the best places on the internet, and everyone is so lovely. I'm, I'm not going to disagree with that. Uh, th that everybody here is lovely, so if you are a newbie, then uh, d don't, don't hold back. Jump, dive straight in, because as soon as you do, you'll be embraced fully by the most wonderful, wonderful community. So um, everybody here is lovely, without exception. 
even the never-ending boinger Gary Blair and that pains me to say to say it but even he even he is a prince amongst men <laughs> he is he's a prince amongst men and I, I would die for him I would defend him to the death even if he drives me mad with his never-ending snitching I will try and get that on Emma thank you look at that Rather super. Um, yeah, I'm Sharon. Sharon Renzuri. Yeah, I'm a new babe here, but I observed that you installed two stubby tire-like wheels into the innards of the house. And this is, of course, the haunted house. The one on the left rotated. You didn't test the other tire, being fixated on rolling the foist one round and round like the nerdy, hyper-competent poison you are. The right wheel went unnoticed as you continued to build out toward the outer wall of the house. These chubby wheels are connected to the outer wheels, which drive the chain. Yo, my head hurts. 10-4. Oh, good God, I love you, Sharon Renzuli. I mean, I'm not even joking. I'm, I'm sort of a little bit madly in love with Sharon Renzuli, aren't you? 10-4. <laughs> I really hope she ends all her messages with, yeah, 10-4, <laughs> from here on in. <laughs> um, Eric, he's got a duck of fans, yo. They both like watching Lego. And they really like musicals. Oh, his name is Eric. Ba ba boom, etc. Uh, he says, um, "Look at all the colours in bag one. A veritable rainbow." Well, I mean, crumbs. Did you see today? It's absolutely unbelievable. It's absolutely delicious. It's glorious. No, Emma, don't put that there. Put it there. Look, look at look at this for a tile. Look. Oh. Look at that. Actually, how do we feel about big tiles? How do we feel about them? I've put it in the wrong place. How do we how do we feel about them? Or like like would we rather have lots of little tiles over a big tile? I I think I prefer a big tile over a No, no I don't. No, sorry. I'm I'm retracting that statement. I think I prefer a lot of little tiles. Like I prefer like like six little tiles in there. That would be lovely, wouldn't it? Mm, it would be delicious. Absolutely delicious. Oh, that's a good way of covering up that. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Um, uh, never ending boing. Gary Blair. Gary Blair, Gary Blair, never ending boing. Gary Blair, Gary Blair, Gary Blair. Now, for, the, for those of you who may be new and watching for the first time and wondering what the heck in heck is going on with the, uh, with the theme tunes, uh, not everyone has got one, we should explain. And, um, but, but people who have been here for a very considerable length of time, and sometimes people get theme tunes on joining immediately. It, there's no rhyme nor reason to it. Um, but some people have their theme tunes that must be sung before they are uh, allowed to approach the bench. That's just how it works. Anyway, um, never ending boinger, Gary Blair. What do you want now? It says, new viewers, don't they deserve a good old tickle of the collective clackers? Welcome, 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 new viewers. Oh, welcome. Oh, oh. Stop it, that'll do. Sorry, sorry, the big hand, the big hand, and the little hand. <sighs> they must sometimes be held in check. Um... Jordan, on my birthday, I was treated to seeing John Badderman's bosom again. He filmed a birthday message for me. He remembered the occasion from the convention story I told a few weeks ago. Oh, that's nice. It's a shame that, that uh, he's my uh, natural sworn Lego enemy. I mean, he's not really, but we've, we've just decided that he is, so... 
That's, it's, it's a shame. It's a shame. It's a shame that Jordan's hero is uh, the natural born nemesis of Relax with Bricks. But there it is. These things can't be helped. <laughs> These things cannot be helped, Jordan. I think this is before Jordan arrived as well. <laughs> I mean, that's not to say there, were, there couldn't be a truce. No, 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 no. There, there can always be, be, be peace amongst the, the Barrowman contingent and the Relax with Bricks contingent. There could be a peace treaty, maybe negotiated by Professor Lego. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, oh, no. Right, hang on, let me put these in place and then we'll get her up. I'm not joking. Me knock, me knocks around me ankles, Emma. Can you just sort... Uh, yeah, right. Uh, uh. Oh, hello, Dolly Uh Yeah, hello. Uh, I'd like to say, um, bravo. Uh, Eric, uh, for the book opening music, and I'd just like to say that I'm enjoying the stroking of the book, um, probably more than the shooking, let me think. No, there is no smoking on the haunted table. Absolutely none. Absolutely none. M maybe I would like your fag if you sung a song. I don't do singing. No, she, she don't do singing. She don't do it, Gwen. She don't do it, and there it is. Now, what colour we do, do we think that is? It's this colour. Just double checking. Um, so it's there. Okay. Uh, Jordan, Mother Goose, may, may I request uh, two things, please, Mother Goose? Yes. Can I hold the sonic screwdriver one of the Doctor Who minifigs is holding, please? And may I stand in front of the TARDIS? Yes. Uh, yes, you absolutely can. Now, where are you, George? There you are. You're on the bleachers. Hang on, let's go out. There you are. There you are, Jordan. Let's get you off of... I'm going to have to stand up. Let's get you off. Come on. Come on, Jordan. Come on. Oh no, I've knocked Professor Lego off. That's a... Oh no, it's not, it's Jim Byrne. Sorry, Jim Byrne. Look at the tremble on the Tweedle twins, if you please. Um, right, we'll give you the give you the sonic screwdriver. That's super. Let's get the TARDIS out. We'll put it there. And there you go. How's that? I'll give you I'll give you a little close up. Give you a little close up. Oh, will you look? Oh, will you look at that, please? Oh, let's give him a round of applause. He loves Doctor Who. He absolutely loves Doctor Who. I can't. I'm. I'm very much looking forward to doing the the animating on the uh, on the script that uh, Jordan has written. It's it's quite something. It really is. Um, Tweedle, Mandy, Tweedle, Buzz, Poo, Sue. They are twins and they love poo. Tweedle, Buzz, Poo, Sue. Uh, says, welcome to all the new Afrowax. It's an amazing gang to be in, Eric. The song, uh, the, sorry, it's an amazing gang to be in. <laughs> Eric, the song for the opening of Instruction Books is brilliant. Uh, yeah, it is brilliant, isn't it? That, that will now be played uh, every single time we start a new set. So that's fabulous, isn't it? Now then. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, drum roll. <laughs> Drum roll. Drum roll. We've got a we've got a Tweedle Vaz Pusu story. Oh crumbs. Oh actual crumbs. Uh, long story alert. Mother Goose. She begins. Brace yourself. Brace yourself. I feel we need one of them already. <laughs> I feel we need one already. It's been a while since I checked how folks are with bogies. Oh good God. Oh, good God. Oh, good God. Where's this going? And I'm hoping uh, everyone will be okay with this story inv involving Tweedle, Mandy, Ray and myself. Oh, no, it's another Ray story. It's another Ray story. Oh, Lord above. Lord actual above. We were on holiday in North Wales, staying in a static van. This has already started well. 
The neighbours, uh, let's call them Blodwin and Iva to protect their identity, yes, correct, were very friendly and came to say goodbye as we packed the car up. Blodwin had a whelk, a big, white, soft bogey. Oh, good God. Oh, good God. On, on the end of her nose. She was the sort of person who touched her face a lot when she talked. <laughs> Obs pre-COVID. The whelk was transferred from the... But by the way, excellent use of whelk. The whelk was transferred from the end of her nose to her cheek, to her forehead, to her lip. Oh, oh no. Ray can't do bogeys and just stared past Blodwin. <laughs> and just stared past Blodwin as she talked to us. Mandy and I were fascinated by what we still call <laughs> what we still call <laughs> the journey of the whelk. When we got in the car, we were full of talk of the whelk. And Ray, and Ray, who was driving, kept asking us to stop. Mandy stopped, but I kept going until Ray started dry heaving. We were highly entertained. I pushed it a bit too much by suggesting that Iva could have kissed Blodders and got the whelk on his lips and then, oh, and then licked his lips and took the whelk into his mouth. We were driving past the queue of people at a bus stop as Ray, uh, pushed beyond her limit, wound down the window and slowed only slightly as she hurled out the window. Oh no. And because of the speed, it splashed back onto the car and onto the back window where Mandy was sitting. Oh, good grief. Ah. Oh. Because of my sensitive gag reflex, that made me start heaving. All Mandy could say was, that sodding well serves you right. That's instant sodding karma. Mandy really took umbrage that her window got sicked on when it was me that made Ray up chuck. The look on the faces of the people at the bus stop was a picture and we wonder if they ever reminisce about it. Thank you. I mean, I mean, a sort of serious note to self. Um, never, never go anywhere uh, with the Tweedle Twins. I mean, I think, I think that's that's pretty much set in stone now, isn't it? What a story, the Tweedle Twins. <laughs> what a story. Oh, they they never disappoint, do they? You've got to give them that. They absolutely never disappoint. Oh, look, we're making something lovely here. What is it? What is it? Sorry, that might not have been in actual view. Oh, look. Look. Hmm. This is good. And that's going... There. Um, Eric, why are they hiding all those beautiful colours under the bill? Well, I mean, there's there's plenty more to come. Uh, maybe it's a metaphor for colour being one of the foundations of life, or something along those lines, says Jordan, which I think is a very good idea, which is a very good suggestion. Um, uh, you will recall uh, I was talking about Jordan's uh, script yesterday and I was slightly worried because there are some special effects in it which I'm not entirely convinced I'm going to be able to pull off uh, successfully. But Jordan now says, I have a degree in filmmaking and post-production. Any post-production troubles I can advise on, please don't hesitate to ask, Mother Goose. Now, this is interesting. Do you think you could put in the special effects? Uh, that you've written in your script, because if you have, I will send you the uh, the animation when I've done when I've done my bit, 
and then um, you might be able to add in some some special effects. I mean, if you can do that, then let's do that because that would be exciting, wouldn't it? Flipping heck, that would be exciting. Imagine that actual proper special effects in a half-time show. Switz or woozies. So witsy swoozies. Hmm, do we think this is a bed? It's starting to feel like a bed. Oh, it is. It's a bed. It's a little bed. Hmm. Oh, right. I get it. Where are you? There you are. I think we're about to go to the Twitterize any minute now. Hang on. Um... We thought she was from Canada and then we didn't think she was from Canada and then it turned out she was from Canada. It's Joe William B. Uh, she says, an absolute, another absolute banger for America as well. Yes, wasn't it? Wasn't it? It's brilliant. It's absolutely fabulous. Uh, he's done it again, yet again. Uh, what a talented lot you all are. You're all fab. You're all brilliant. And um, as I constantly say, that's a lovely little bedside table. Um, if anyone uh, wants to get creative then my goodness, by all means, get creative. That's what we're all about here. If you want to do an animation and, and put it in for a halftime show, then please do. If you've got something that you would like to see as, an, as a halftime show, then, then, you know, put it in the pot for suggestions. Anything, really. If you're musical and you want to send in some music for something, crack on. That's what we like here. We like it a lot. Um, right. No, not quite at the Twitter eyes. Uh, Tweedle, Mandy, Eric Oswald, you're a musical genius. I loved it. Uh, Jordan, I love the music, Eric. Uh, Tweedle, Mandy, hello, Mother Goose. Yes, hello. Do you think you could recreate the tremendous fart noise you made on Live and Bricking from all the individual fart sound effects? It was a Bobby Dazzler. And it really sounded like some farts I produce occasionally, either on rising out of a low chair or squatting over a public toilet seat. Uh, thank you. Uh, yes. Right. Let's. Let's. Uh, right. You ready? You ready? Oh no! 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 That, no! I mean, I. I. I wouldn't be surprised if that was the noise that uh, Tweedle Mandy produced uh, rising out of a, a low chair. But I, I, will do, I will do that again. So here's take two, take two. Oh no, I've done it again. I've done it again, I've done it again. Oh no. <sighs> right, third time lucky. There we go. Thank you. Over to the Twitter eyes. Twitter, 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 rise. Twitter, 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 rise. Oh no. Oh no. Is this ever going to end? Is this ever going to end? It's Mr. Graham Triggs, the VAR, the official referee of Relax with Bricks, says, I'm torn. Should Eric Oswald be adjudicated on for a musical interlude that is too short? What? Or should Emma Kennedy get the night in the Blair Hole for taking too long to open the instructions? I'm still in the Blair Hole. I haven't come out of the Blair Hole. I'm, I'm, I may as well just stay in there, to be honest. Uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Graham Chiggs. I'm going to take issue with you and I'm going to appeal this. I'm going to appeal. I'm absolutely 100% going to appeal this. Number one, there is absolutely no way on God's given earth that Eric Oswald should be punished uh, for his fabulous, fabulous uh, Kyrie. Absolutely zero. Over my, I mean, I'm over my dead body, Mr. Graham Chiggs over my actual dead body is that happening uh, and number two if you feel that somebody has to be punished then of course it should be me because I uh, took I did take a little bit too long because I wasn't particularly very good with my first cut I will acknowledge that 
But uh, no, I'm sorry, there's absolutely no way Mr. Eric Oswald is going down for that. Thank you, I will have, I will have satisfaction, sir. I will have satisfaction, sir. I will. <sighs> we've got a, we've got two we've got two stickers coming up. Um, uh, oh, good. Oh, here they come. Here comes Neverending Boinger, and I'm not reading out yet. I'm not reading out your name today. I'm not doing it. You're just Neverending Boinger today. Uh, oh, uh, Lord Justice J Perry. Oh, he's Lord Justice J Perry now, is he? Oh, it, it's is a tough one. Um, maybe uh, punish them both. Hashtag respect the VAR. Hashtag vote Everwick Supreme Court. I get, the, I'm sort of getting the feeling that that they're getting a little bit sort of power power mad. Uh, the members of the Supreme Court. Anyway, it's uh, stick number twenty-two. Sticker number twenty-two. Sticker number twenty-two. Gosh, I must keep an eye on the time because I'm going on the I'm going on the old radio today. Uh, on the old Gabby Roslin. Oh no, that's no. I think that's going to have to go right down there. Oh no. Oh, what an absolute hash. Oh, this is hard. Oh, that's because I'm putting it on the wrong thing. Thank you. Thank you for coming to my very minor panic. It's now over and has concluded. Thank you for coming. That was close, wasn't it? Um, ah, this one's going on the inside. Okay, so this is a sticker number 15. Sticker number 15. Sticker number 15. Sticker number 15. Put that there behind the Book of Morons because it's curling up at the edges and I don't like it. Right, that is going in here. Yep. Et voila. Um, uh, never ending boy. It says, yeah, you do make a very good point, Lord Justice J. Paddy hadn't even occurred to me. Uh, Tim Biden Harris uh, Goff. Oh, oh, how happy are we? Oh. 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 Honestly, it's it's like a weight has been lifted off the world. Oh, what joyous scenes. Um, hang on, I, 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 I've got ahead of myself here. Wait, wait. That's going there. Let me just get this right, please. That's going there. And that's going there. Okay. Okay. Um, he, uh, Tim Biden Harris Goff says, uh, Excuse me, but what the heck in who is going on here? Sentencing by candidates during campaigning. Get your sticky fingers off the vase authority, your chances. Yeah, not off. Not off. Not off. <laughs> Get your sticky hands off. Your chances. There, he speaks for all of us. I just, uh, uh, never any boy says, sorry, I thought, I thought this was a democracy where we're allowed to voice our opinions now. Yeah, uh, Tim Biden, Harris Goff says, yeah, you've got it. Yeah, he sends them off. He sends them off. What? Oh, I can't believe this. I can't believe it. You will recall that I asked Mr. Graham Triggs to adjudicate on a certain never-ending Boinger, who absolutely, definitely, 100% cheated uh, during Poo Bingo in Live and Bricking. Anyway, this is the uh, adjudication for Mr. Graham Triggs, the bar. I, I, th I, th I think, I think, I think, I think, I'm not gonna say it out loud. Um, sorry, I'm supposed to adjudicate on unfounded allegations against the upstanding Gary Blair Sorry. For cheating at Pooh Bingo, when in fact we have had the same winner every time it has been played. <gasps> <laughs> What's going on? There's, there's something going on here, 
and it doesn't smell right, does it? It doesn't smell right. Upstanding Gary Blair. Actually shocked to my core about that. I'm actually shocked to my actual core. <coughs> Hang on, have I done that? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Hang on, please. Um, scrub down, scrub down. It's Jackie Swan. Uh, she rightly says a poo bingo card must be submitted prior to live inbricking to allow post game verification to take place. I'm afraid that in Mollusk Week he breaks forth. Mm. Mm. I, I mean, I will. I'll allow that one, uh, Jackie Swan. Um, did not submit his bingo card prior to the start of the game and therefore his winning card was invalid. Bevis Musson says he totally cheated. Bevis Musson, the sensei, the sensei, the moaning mini, Uncle Strawberry, the mutterer, the Lego whisperer. He says he totally cheated. Yes, he did. He totally cheated. I was temporary miss of the VAR for the night and it wasn't even very good cheating. His soon-to-be wedded wife, Mademoiselle Petit Sue, even had to admit he was a cheating cheater. Yes, yes, I'm sorry, but it's true. Uh, Bevis Musson then says, do we need vice ombuds, Gooses? Because I think Jackie would make an excellent Camilla, uh, sorry, Kamala, uh, to my Joe. Mm. That's not a bad idea. But uh, she says, sadly, my role as bigly head of HR means I am excluded. Oh. And... We all despair. Um, uh, he says, Me I'm Lego Sensei. At this point, I think we can all stop pretending that rules and fairness apply. I mean, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Uh, never ending boring. Like, oh, so we're talking about a water bench of more than one person. What a jolly good idea. I hadn't thought of that. Uh, Bevis says, no, I will be so wildly unpredictable and mercurial. Uh, Ombuds goose. Mm, I mean, yeah. It's quite an attractive prospect, but I'll also have Jackie standing next to me waving a dental implement in a threatening manner. Does oh, I see. That's your idea of a woman's rightful place, eh? Then there's just a whole host of ridiculous gifts. <sighs> uh, Mr. Graham Triggs says, It's not my fault I got the singing of Happy Birthday wrong. Hmm. Mm. Uh, somebody has cr has been creating an awful lot of admin recently. Well, it's not it's not me, Mr. Graham Triggs. It's not me that's creating all the admin. It's 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 all the people who are snitching, the never ending snitches. Um, I would argue that it is them, sir. It is them, sir. It is it is it isn't me. That's what I'd argue. Um, I don't know where I am. Have I done this? He's quoting me. Never change, Emma. Never change. Uh, Twiddle Vast Poo Sue says, I think little Sue should go on Dragon's Den with Croissant Croissant. Then I could follow on with my idea of bean juice for those time when you just want the juice from baked beans on your chips and you don't want the beans. Uh, Bevis asks, uh, isn't that just tomato sauce? And then Vast Poo Sue says, you'd think but Heinz do something with their bean juice that makes it special. Uh, Twit Twoo, Alan. Alan Harwood, contemplation of Hoynes' special sauce. It's somehow making me queasy. Um, <laughs> then Tweet Waspers who says, are you being mucky? <laughs> uh, and Alan says, so this is Varapusu asking the question, folks, Varapusu. No, I just read the ingredients and realise that most of them must be in a sauce. And then I have no earthly idea what they are. Also... I have recollections of Heinz the Bulk from the Golden Shop, which doesn't help. Uh, Twiddle Vosper Zeus says, I've never read the ingredients. Perhaps should before going on Dragon's Den. That could trip me up. We'll have to Google Heinz the Bolt. Um, mm, hang on. Hang on. Hang on, please. This is dangerous. This is dangerous. So I turn it round and that's there. This is dangerous. This is dangerous. This is all wrong. This is all wrong. This is all wrong. My spatial awareness is absolutely bad. Now, hang on. Yes. Oh, I see. 
that's that's wrong that's wrong it's not that okay thank you thank you for coming to my very minor panic it's now over and has concluded thanks for coming thank you for coming right like that then i turn it round no there is there is two oh what's going on here oh okay I've, I've got the panic on here i've got a slight panic and i don't care who knows it hang on where did that go then where did that go oh there right well a uh, jiminy crickets if that's right i'll dance around a bit now then come on come on uh oh bev bratton oh brilliant they're back they're back uh news report good morning you join me on the bleachers with news of the election no not that election this year this is the election to determine who will occupy the elevated position of official ombuds goose candidates currently on the ballot are uh, Neil, a.k.a. Diana Ross, Bevis, a.k.a. The Sensei, Uncle Strawberry, The Moaning Mini, The Lego Whisperer, might have missed one there. And the Katie, here to complain, John, I Love Tiles, Gary, The Neverending Boinger, Coalition. With the deadline approaching for any other nominees to declare their intention to run, the tension is already building. This is Bev Bratton reporting for Bleachers News, handing back to the studio. Oh, I've missed them. I've missed them, Bev. I'm glad they're back. Super. Uh, uh, Tim uh, Biden Harris Girl says, Do we have time to set aside for a hustings prior to the vote? I have a question for the candidates, and it goes a little something like this Would you have upheld the decision to make Mother Goose sniff the shitty vase? Uh, would you, though, eh? Would you, though? Uh, I mean, that, that's. This is a very good point. This is a very good point, and I'm glad you've raised it, uh, Tim Gulf. I'm very glad you raised it. Uh, never ending boring it. Just to clarify, before you tried to rewrite Jaffawack history, there was no decision. It was an official request. Official requests were invented and defined by herself. It was herself herself, and no one else who announced that all official requests must be obeyed. Yes, that is true. That is fair. It is. That is true. That is true. Uh, then he says, oh, mine got in Hemel. Not only was the minifig missed, but it was Big Bird. Big Bird. Adjudication, please. Oh, you absolute snitch. Adjudication, please, Mr. Graham Triggs. Adjudication. Adjudication. Requested by the never-ending Boinger. Because I forgot to do the money focus first. Sticker number 17. 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 This is a lovely sticker, isn't it? That's a lovely sticker. Oh, that's super. That's super. We've got another sticker as well. Uh, sticker number 7. Sticker. Sticker number 7. Sticker. Number 7. Sticker. Number seven. Hmm. Sticker number seven. How oh, lovely. Lovely stickers, they're lovely. That needs to be in a bit more a bit bit higher up. Back there. That'll do it. Oh that's lo isn't that lovely? That's super. A uh, grabby bag, a uh, pity that the count uh isn't one of the mini figs? Yes, I agree. I agree. Uh, Gary Blair says, Oh, we know it's very possible he will be left in the box and forgotten. Says, stop the count. Uh, stop. Oh, count. I'm looking forward to hearing me say in my new LOLO accent to BH, preferably Officer Crabtree. Uh, Professor Langer. 
Professor Lacker, uh, despite the recent schisms, I have a suspicion that my inactions will unite uh, the Ethel Wax. Hmm, what's this? Despite the promise of the Ombuds Goose election today and forgot that I was out for the entirety of the day and yet to watch today's video. As a result of my unavailability, we shall hold the election tomorrow. I repeat, there will be a delay for the election and a delay for the result. The delay will be no more than a period of 24 hours. Let the waiting commence. Thrilled. Thrilled. I think we're all used to waiting for results now. It's fine. I think we expect it. I think it's par for the course. How are we doing for time? Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Um, it's just gifts. Gifts, 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 gifts. Uh, never, uh, re never ending boy says, uh, uh, loving Lorenzoli. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Bevis Musson, this set is a little bit simpler than the submitted idea, as they often are. But they're often a brilliant, they've done a brilliant job of translating it into an affordable uh, set. Ooh, hang on. Now then, that's quite hard. To, oh, I think it's like that. I think it's like that. Then that goes on there. Oh, look, light, Bevis, 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 light, Bevis, Bevis, light, light, Bevis. Oh, that's super, and I love it loads. I absolutely love it. Where's that going? That's going there. Oh, Bevis, will you look at that? That's just lovely, isn't it? Uh, then he says, uh, will you look at all the colours there in the knot? I know, I'm absolutely loving it. Two GG visits in two days. How lovely. I know, aren't we lucky? I suspect those green squares on the underside of the base are just there to give it a bit of stability, so the exact positioning of them is probably not a massive issue. Yes, I agree with you. I like that Sharon keeps sounding like a bad impression of Cindy Lauper. Yes, she does. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I'm Sharon. I'm Sharon Rinsoli. I'm bricking here. I'm bricking. Uh, reminder to show us the rear of the Temple of Anubis, please, uh, Knuckles. Yes. All right. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on, please. Hang on, please. Ha hang on, please. Oh, lo oh no. I've just destroyed. Ugh. Flipping heck. Where did that go? Oh, that was there. Hang on. It's, it's, it's honestly, it's quite precarious here. Right. Are you ready? This is the back. So that's, so that's the back. Um, this should have a chain. I didn't have a spare one that runs up to here and um and you there you can that moves and look and th this is this that that drops down so it has got some two little move oh you can't see sorry so yes yeah, so these 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 bits here will drop down like that and there was there's supposed to be a chain that runs up from from there to there, and that when you pull the chain, that will come out and that drops down, and same there. Um, but there should be a pharaoh in here, and that's not there, which is a shame. Um, and th these are these are mine. The, I, I, the, can you just see there? I I just put some in for to to jazz it up a little bit. But there sh there should have been some skeletons that were there. But yes, that's the back. So, um, that's it. And on this side, behind, I, I put those there because it should have had something like this there, but that's missing. And it should have had a side bit here that's missing. So it is quite incomplete. Um, but there it is. I made the best of it. Let's, let's put it that way. I made the best of it. Um, the obelisk keeps falling down, but there we are. That's it. That's it. Thank you. Thank you for reminding me, Bevis. Thank you. I'm going back in again. Um, so there's not exactly masses of detail or anything, but I'm already loving this set. Me too. I'm absolutely adoring it. Absolutely adoring it. Oh, now this is tricky. Hang on. 
I shall return to club business presently. Lovely. Lovely. Uh, where are they? There they are. Okay. Uh, Count Rosie uh, Lee, today's advert was the Lego Christmas advert. Uh, guess Big Brother is watching me. <laughs> um, oh, by the way, FYI, uh, that Vaz Pusu and uh, Mike and Neil, who won things at Live and Bricking, knows things that are going in the post tomorrow. They're all in, in their envelopes, and uh, Georgie is uh, all set to deliver them to the post office uh, tomorrow. So you should be getting those imminently, so that's exciting. Um, uh, bring, 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 bring. Oh, hello, relax with bricks. Oh, hello, it's Katie Horn. Oh, hello, Katie. You phone to complain. Um, well, no, I'm. So, I'm just wanted to say this. I'm so glad you're building uh, this uh, set. I haven't been this excited for a set in a while, and I'm loving all the bright colours. And isn't everything awesome? Oh, thank. Well, thank you, thank you, uh, Katie Hall. Thank you, Katie Hall. Sorry, fruity burp. Fruity burp. Oh, look, that goes there. That's rather good, isn't it? Little telephone. Um, hmm. That goes there. Yeah. And that one goes there. Lovely. Lovely. Isn't this a lovely set? A professor like uh, you could build it along with Emma. Uh, if you can pace yourself to a bag a day, uh, that is. Uh, oh, Katie is uh, doing it. She's already on bag two, she says. Oh, that's nice. Little Sue. Uh, she's called Little Sue. She's little. Uh, she's called Sue. She's Little Sue. Uh, um, uh, hello. It's me, Little Sue. Sorry. Bonjour. C'est moi. A petit sou, le petit, la petit sou, de poisson, poisson, nobly, properly. Yeah, all right. Uh, what do you want? Uh, yes, I would just like to say that I quite like a cobweb with a spider on it in the basement. It seems to make a bit more sense than a bone, don't you think? Uh, Jackie Swan says, uh, yes, I do love a bone. I'd agree with you. Yes, I, th I think it's great, that little... That little window in, into the cobweb and the spider. I always think that about when they make their basements. You can't see into them. What's the point? So uh, I, I'm, I'm fully in agreement with this. I think it's very, very good. I think it's excellent. There's a lot of gifts there. A lot of gifts. Uh oh, grab your bark. All that was missing from Gary Blair's speech was make RWB great again. Yes. Yes. You're not entirely wrong there. It was quite the speech, was it not? Hang on. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I've missed something out. Oh no, gang, I've missed something out. Have I? Yes, I've missed something out. When did that happen? When did it happen? When did it happen? It happened here. I totally missed it out. Thank you for coming to my panic. Totally missed something out. How unlike you, Emma. Shut up. Just be quiet. Hang on. I'm fixing this imminently. That's going. No, 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 no. Correct. Absolutely, one hundred percent correct. Right, back we go. Now, where where did we get up to? Where did we get up to? We got up to here. Hang on, what's happened? This is wrong. Oh. <laughs> why is that? Why is that not? I've missed off a level, haven't I? I've missed off a level. How have I missed off a level? Where have I missed it? <laughs> that 
should be in there. That should be in there. Oh, I see what's happened. Okay. All right. Thank you. Yes, thank you. For coming to my quite considerable panic. It's now over and has concluded. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you. It's over. It's, it's done. It's done. It's done. It's all done and dusted. Thank you. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. They should... Oh, no. Hang on, please. I'm actually probably having... I'm having an actual panic. Hang on. What an absolute kerfuff that was. Absolute kerfuff. That was a kerfuff on a stick. Uh, basically, look, I, I should have used one of those. Sorry, I've used my finger. I should have used one of these instead of one of those there. So I just swapped them over. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Uh, Ruth Hay is excited that you're doing this build, Mother Goose. Loving that you can peer through the basement window to view the spider. Bodes well for the rest of the build. Hoping for lots of colour and detail. Yeah, I think we're going to get it in spades, which is brilliant. Uh, Rosie Lee says, ooh, such lovely bright rainbow colours to reflect the mood of today. Hurrah. Ooh, then she says, uh, for those who are interested in a Rosie Lee Affleck mug, uh, here's what's available. If you'd like to place an order, follow slash DM me. And then she, she's she's given a little catalogue thing there so if you want one of her uh, mugs then go and uh, go and get involved with that because they're they're beaut they're, they're things of great beauty and it's good to support another Afrowak in their little business endeavours I'm fully supportive of it so crack on crack crack on um No, that doesn't work, does it? It goes like that. Yep. And that's there. Um, hang on. Yes. What's happening over here? Oh, no! Um, uh, Jackie Swan says that was a fabulous knoll uh, Tanya now dresses says I've never really watched Sesame Street but this looks like a lovely build also I don't know the torrid tale of Bevis's butterfly testicles but would love to hear it um, <laughs> Jackie Swan says are you sure uh, I am sure I don't know it or I'm sure I want to hear it yes to both hmm. can I actually remember what the story was to to Bevis's butterfly testicles. I think we just decided they look like butterfly testicles. I think that's that's pretty much that's pretty much all it was. We just decided that that's what what they look like. No, wait, that's going on there. No, 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 no. Oh, oh my crap! This is actually making my head hurt. Right, hang on. That's like that, and that's like that, and then this goes in there. Blimey, that was complicated. Okay. That was a proper finicky bit. I'm going to have to go on the radio in a minute. Uh, Emma. Yes. Well, I'd just like to say what beautiful white colour is. There, there are in this bag. Yeah, they're lovely. I'm so excited that we're building this one, am I? Yeah, I know you are. I know you are. I, it's like, seriously, it's making me almost cry. Cry, I'm so excited. Please press the button. Uh, Neil says, uh, hello to newbies. Most of us were newbies at one stage, apart from those who were always Afrowax. You'll find everyone welcoming and helpful. What a wonderful gang to have found. It's hashtag Afrowax forever. Hashtag uh, goose up. Uh, Rosalie says, I echo this. Have, uh, Afflewax forever. 
Mike says, so far so happy with this set. I've never been into Sesame Street, but I like the look of the set with a colourful and playful nature. The little window peeking into the basement is a simple but very effective uh, detail. Um, gang, and I think I've got a couple more minutes before I'm going to have to go and be on the radio. Uh, Jordan, the script was a pleasure to write, and I do have some surprises up my sleeve. I'll say no more. <laughs> uh, Neil, this looks a colourful and happy little set in parallel with the happy gang of Afflewax. A shame most of the coloured pieces are then hidden within the structures so far. But I'm sure the next sections will make up for this. Hashtag full colour. Hashtag bring the happy. Uh, Rosalie, maestro Eric. Fabulous ditty, as always. Uh, Danny, Danny, Danny. Says, oh, look at all the colours. I'll admit, though, the Sesame Street characters freaked me out when I was a child. Particularly Big Bird and the one that lived in the bin. And the cookie monster. Wah! Wah! That concludes club business. I think I've got about, about eight minutes before I have to go and actually be on the radio. So I might have to, might have to suddenly, I might have to disappear and come back again and finish this off. But we will do it. Voila. Voila. Just checking. Checking on the time. Sometimes they call me a bit early. Such lovely colours. I had to go and do the radio. I'm back now. Right. Let's finish off this bag, shall we? Oh, now this is a nice bit. Come out a bit. There we are. One, two, three. Oh, lovely. Look, we've got, oops, we've got our old pal. So making four of these. Four of these. That's rather nice. That gives it a sort of a good, nice sort of almost a brownstone feel. Where's the fourth one going? Oh, over there. Yep.
No, we've never done a um, window that way up, if you know what I mean by that. We're making two of those. significance of this is someone will tell me as ever hmm. well we've never done a a window like that before have we oh looking lovely it's like halfway oh that's really nice is that really nice I love that now then that butterfly testicle goes in there hmm what are we making here butterfly testicle That. Oops. Fern, nickety bits, nickety bits, boom, boom. Fern, nickety bits, nickety bits. Fern, nickety bits, nickety bits, nickety bits, nickety bits. No. Now, what do we think that is? Oh, it's a it's a bell. It's an it's a bell. That's clever. We'll need something from the big bag, from the special bag. Big hand, little hand. Oh, do I think that? Yeah, okay. Goes there. That's there. Voila. much to go now. Making two of these. We've never had one of these. Look. Can you see? We've never had one of those before, ever. Oh, that's fabulous. I, do you know, when I was making that, I didn't have a clue what that was, but isn't that lovely? That's divine. Oh, I love this set. That's so clever. I love it. Absolutely love it. That's really nice. What a lovely little thing that is. Oh, that's a worry. That's a worry. 
I only seem to have one of these. I'm supposed to have two. That's a worry. That's an enormous worry. <laughs> that's that's the really enormous worry. Yes. Oh, I know what I've done. I've put, oh, what an absolute idiot. I put this on the wrong. Oh, no. Oh, crumbs, good luck, studio. Oh, Lord, oh, thoughts and prayers. Oh, thoughts and prayers. Oh. Phewey! Oh, phew, that was... Well retrieved, Kennedy. Well retrieved. Sorry if they were pit there, there were some of you out there yelling. Oh, no, Kennedy! No! Okay. Um. What's going in there? Oh, what do we think this is? What do we think that's supposed to be? What do we think? I'm intrigued by this area. I'm not entirely sure what it is. I'm puzzled by it. Don't know what another big, big thing. on there. Sorry little Sue, you hate it when I do that, but sometimes I have to. I hate I really hate it when you do that. Please stop it. They have, I've stopped it. Uh, but there we are, that's it. That. Hang on, where did this go? Where did that go? I might have to work that out. Where did, th where did that go? I might have to work that out in my own sweet time. Uh, oh, it went here. That one went there, so that's that one solved. Right. What is that? That's a worry, though. Um, I'll find that out. Um, right, that's that for today. So come back tomorrow for bag three. Affleck's forever. Bye-bye.